Well, we continue to track breaking news out of Pawtucket this morning. A water main break causing quite the mess overnight in parts of the city. Yeah, this all started about 3 in the morning near Walcott and Grove Streets. The water was also flowing onto nearby I-95 and caused some delays there until officials could get the water shut off. I want to get the very latest from 12 News reporter Kayla Fish. So we understand at one point there was a fire truck stuck in all that water. Is that situation improving, Kayla? Yeah, Danielle and Kate, uh, plenty of improvements through the morning. What a difference a couple of hours can make. When we first arrived at the scene, there was still water rushing down Walcott Street here. There was that fire engine, and then at one point, a, uh, a vehicle also trying to drive through what was a flooded roadway. Now the fire engine has been uh, taken, towed out of this area, and workers are getting a better look at the damage left behind by that water main break and trying to excavate part of the street here, rip up all of the pavement around it so they can again get a closer look at the damage and work to repair it. Now I want to show you some video from overnight of the scene as we saw it earlier this morning. Inches and inches of water rushing down Walcott Street, really onto any nearby street in this area. Grove Street, Arlington Street, Again, as you mentioned, flowing onto Interstate 95. At one point, there were lanes shut down there. That's been improved. But again, this was a water main break that happened overnight. I'm told that there uh, may be no real determination as to what caused the break because crews are now working to try to fix the damage and get water turned back on. Of course, they had to turn water off to uh, residents in this area so they could stop the flooding and get to work uh, towing the big fire truck with the massive tow trucks out of the uh, scene here to get it cleared out of the way so that they could again do what they're doing now as we come back live to uh, to just get all of the debris out of the way so they can really begin their repairs here. Now, I've been speaking with uh, officials with the Pawtucket Water Supply Board through the morning who have told me that this is going to be a lengthy process for them to uh, work to repair the water main and then uh, turn water access back on to residents. So uh, if you're just waking up and finding yourself with no water in the city of Pawtucket, it'll probably be that way for most of the day as uh, this is a 24 inch main, I'm told, that broke overnight. So again, a pretty massive cleanup that will continue here. Walcott Street will be shut down for the foreseeable future. So if you're headed out in this area, try to seek an alternate route. That's the latest live in Pawtucket. I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.